There are a lot of different mobs in Minecraft and with the addition of the Warden and later on the upcoming Sniffer, it is no doubt that people have wanted to more and more to make their own mobs. Now what people don't realize is that it is actually very easy and I guess that's why you're here. Also this, this, I know this looks terrible, All right, I'll make a full on map for my backdrop, but for now, let's hop into block bench right away. So this is block bench, this is where I've made a bunch of stuff over the last mo couple months, and some of it is of course the animatronics from my Five Nights at Freddy's map, which you should by the way download, please download, it is a great map. Either way. This is Blockbench, and you can download it with the link in the description. It's actually a surprisingly easy software to use, and I'll walk you through everything. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is to go up to the file, and then go into Plugins. Now, over here, you're going to search up Wizard, and then you'll get both the Entity Wizard and the Block Wizard. Make sure to, by the way, do this on the Available section. But I've already installed them, so I'm not going to do it. But just add those two plugins, so you can make these very easy blocks. Once you've downloaded your Entity Wizard, you'll find it down here. Now you're gonna use the Entity Wizard. I made a full-on video on how to use Block Wizard. But for this one, we're gonna use Entity Wizard, so let's go. Now over here is where you'll set the name of it. And I'm just gonna name it Nightmare because I'm, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. This right here is literally just the name of it when you spawn it. However, this needs to be something else. Now this is the identifier, alright? So... This is basically Minecraft's way of recognizing it with commands. That's how I did the Five Nights at Freddy's map, because you can actually detect your own custom entities. So for this one, you want something at the start, and then do a colon, and then do... I typically like to just name it uh, whatever you've actually named it. This all needs to be lowercase, and it needs to have something before the colon. After you've hit next, you can choose the appearance of the mob. This is basically if you want a preset with the animations and the actual way that the mob looks. Now since I'm making a new version of the phantom, I'm actually gonna select the phantom over here. And then we get to the behavior section. Now this is where you can choose to add a different behavior where you, for example, have a frog behavior on a phantom, which I don't recommend. Just keep same behavior, but if you want dif a different behavior, this is where you do it. And now might be a good time to mention that this is actually just a basic tutorial. You can of course add your own custom behaviors and looks as you get more experienced. But I don't know how to code because I'm an idiot and I only use commands. So uh, we're just gonna go for a pretty standard one in this video. But if you want to know more about behaviors, I'm sure there's a lot of great YouTubers out there. One I can think of in my head is a YouTuber named Spiderrock. Check him out if you want to. Anyways, after you've done that, you just need to set the spawning. Now, this is because you obviously want an entity, not a block. And I'll go with something like a black color with some maybe purple spots. Yeah, that looks like Ender themed. And I forgot to mention, throughout this video, you can actually guess how you think this mob will react. You can comment down below, guess how you think it's going to react. Because this will be a mod that you will be able to download later on. The final step is to export. Now you can either export it as a MC add-on, integrate it into pack or export to a brand new pack. Now I'm gonna use the export to folder one because it's just the easiest and if you're gonna do this then you're just gonna set a pack name which I'm gonna do better end. There we go. And then the pack author is literally just who owns it so I'm gonna do echo lmc. And then you can select a pack icon if you want to. I'm not gonna do that, you can change that in the files later, so we're just gonna export it. Once you've done that, you can click edit model, and you'll see that your model has now shown up. Now in this case, you can see stuff like the eyes are missing and stuff, and that's because of the different animations. But in general, working with this is pretty simple. So what you now wanna do is head over to the paint section, and literally just start retexturing. And I'm gonna retexture this one in a pretty cool time lapse. So. Okay, this is quite a brief view of what it's actually going to look like. Of course, I'm going to make it more polished and stuff. But this is an example of what you can make after just retexturing for a bit. This is the Nightmare, which is a writable mob in the end dimension, at least according to me. 
So all that's left to do is to get it into the game, which is literally just Control S. It will say saved as whatever you've saved it as. And then you can hop back into your game and check it out. Okay, so now that you're back in Minecraft, you should make sure that you have your oh that you have your add-on in the world. So in this, for example, you can see that I've got the better end. Although I haven't got the new better end, which is what I need to actually activate. I don't know which one of these it is, but that's on me. I've tried before and it didn't work out, but let's add this new one. Once you've added both your resource pack and your behavior pack, you can hop back into the world and check it out. Okay, so this is my blocks world. Now you can see there's some questionable stuff. As you can see, we've got a lightning block. We've got a pig that strikes you a bunch if you get close. Some interesting stuff that you guys suggested. You can suggest down below what I should make next. I made a full on video on this, by the way. So you can check that one out. But let's head into the animation and check it out. So now that we're in the end dimension, we've actually got the deep forest over there, which is another biome I made. Looks pretty cool, but we've also made a home to our brand new nightmare mod, and this is the corrupt end islands, or the dead chorus biome. You can see I've got these pretty cool dead chorus fruits, uh, and we've also got now the nightmare, as you can see right here. So grabbing that uh, mob, we can spawn it in, and you can see, boom! We've got a pretty cool looking phantom mob. Unpopular opinion, but I actually think the phantom is such a cool addition to the game. And honestly, even though it's super annoying, it's so cool and it's unlike anything else. That's why I really wanted to make a re-textured re version of the phantom. But basically, that is it. As you can see, it's pretty simple to add your very own custom mobs to Minecraft. I've added a ton in the past. You can see you can see we've even got Hero Brian. Hold on. Who is this guy? Oh! And then he proceeded to disappear for a while. Some people say he's still out there. Some people say he died. But most people say that I'm in this world asking you to subscribe because that is the end of this video and since you watched until the end that probably means you enjoyed it at least somewhat. So if you do want to help me out Consider subscribing. Also, please check out the FNAF animatronics map. I spent over 15 hours on it altogether. It's a good world. I promise you'll like it. And I would love some feedback on it. Anyways, that is it. Subscribe.